Hi everyone, it's Amanda from Loops and Love Crochet and I'm just gonna show you a quick little video tutorial on making uh, these little crochet bows. So you can add these to your little uh, animal projects or dolls or really anything. Um, they're just little but you can make them different sizes depending on the yarn and the crochet hook size that you use. Um, I just added these recently to a kitty lovey pattern that is on my blog, so if you're interested in checking out that pattern, you can look at loopsandlovecrochet.com. Um, so let's get started. So you'll need a crochet hook. I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and I just have some uh, worsted weight yarn here of kind of a sparkly fuchsia color. And you're going to start by making a magic circle. And then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then you're going to work three treble crochet stitches inside the ring. So here's one. Oops two, three, and then you're going to chain three again, and you're going to slip stitch down into the center of the ring, and I'm just going to pull the ring a little bit tighter here, because it's getting kind of large, there we go. Okay, make sure your slip stitch was nice and tight, and then you're going to chain three again, you're going to do three treble crochet stitches into the ring again on this side, and this is forming the other side of the bow. So there's one, here's two, And then three. And then chain three and slip stitch down into the center of the ring again. And then we're going to pull the ring tighter here. And then I'm just going to cut the yarn and pull my slip stitch all the way through. So pull that through, pull that nice and tight, pull the center of the ring nice and tight as well. There we go. So we have the little bow shape and now we're going to wrap the ends around and then we'll secure them at the back. So I'm just going to wrap this tail around from my slip stitch. I'm just going to wrap that one around three times here. And I went one way on that one, and then I'm going to wrap the opposite way with the other tail. And you can choose how many times. I just did three one way and three on the other. So there we go. And now I'm going to flip to the back side, and I'm going to tie a knot at the back here. Nice double knot here. That's nice and secure. There we go. So there's your little bow. And then to sew this onto your crochet project, um, you will weave one of these ends in. So on the back, you can hide one of these ends by weaving it into these stitches and then use the other one to sew it onto your project. And here we go. Here's these nice little bows here. So you can change the size um, based on the yarn that you use and how uh, tight or loose your stitches are. So depending on your tension um, or on your hook size. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you found the tutorial useful. Um, if you're looking for more crochet videos, you can, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Loops and Love Crochet. 
uh, you can check out my blog, loopsandlovecrochet.com, uh, or my Facebook page. All right, thanks for watching.